Hello everyone, please welcome and join me these steps. Today I'm going to share with you my Wrangler Jeep. It's a Rubicon 2014 year model. I'm going to install LED bar. And these are LED bars from Oxfam. They are 52 inch. They're going to bring the outlook of my Jeep. And I'm going to share with you how it's easy to install 52 inch Oxfam. LED bars. I'm going to provide you the link under my description. Please check it out. Without wasting any time, let's get started. So we have our Oxbeam LED bar. We need to open. This one has a, all the cable harness. It has a mounting bracket which requires a drilling hole. And uh, I'm going to share with you that um, another utility bracket which uh, requires no drilling. And uh, what we need to do, uh, let's start uh, one by one. This one has a switch which I'm going to share with you how I'm going to install it. This is the on off switch. What I have done, I put my hand up there and I push this wire and I pull the wire down here and there is the firewall. And I push that switch outside, which we can see on the other side. Which comes right here. You can see this, that's the hole I'm talking about. We pull that switch out, and this is the switch. Going to plug in to this cable harness. So make sure that you put underneath. And we're going to insert it. And this one going to get locked in. And these wires, it's a lot of wires. These wires, we're going to bring it on the battery side. And the way we're going to do it, we're going to run along with this, the cable. You can do this, you can uh, cut the tape off, you can put it to the wire inside, but I wouldn't suggest that. I'm just going to place it the wire like this and then I'm going to use a tie wrap. Once you tie it up, it's nicely, neatly going to look and we're going to go on the other side. And these two red, that's going to be a positive. We're going to loosen the nut and we're going to place it underneath and we're going to tighten here. And the other two wires, we're going to put it on a negative. We're going to loosen the nut and we're going to tighten it right here. And these are the two relays. So we can uh, put it on this uh, plastic body, it's right here. Next to the battery, as you can see the holes are right there. So one I'm going to place it like this, the other one I'm going to place on the other side. In order to do that we're going to use uh, these uh, bolt with the washer. Whatever easier way you can do it. So once you put this one on, we can tighten this. And if you use the washer that will be the best. Once it's going to fit it's not going to move later on. And now the second relay, we're going to place it right on there. And it's going to go like a little bit tilted, but that's okay, nothing to worry about it. So we're going to put this one in, and the same thing, there's a second hole. So this is the way it's going to fit. Once I'm going to install my LED bar, what I'm going to do, it's easier. You can just run the wire outside, but it's not going to look nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to to remove the bolts from this bracket. It has a four bolts on this side, two in the front. I removed it. I run this wire from the LED bar and just put it inside and run through from here. And now what we need to do, if you have a soldering iron, you can uh, solder these wires. But if you don't, in case, you can do it easier way. You insert these wire inside, 
use a plier or crimper and crimp it together and that will be perfectly fine as well it's so very simple you can uh, you can put it right here in the middle just like that and we can use a plier and just crimp it together the relays are installed so we're going to loosen uh, the nuts and we're going to place these uh, lug nut right underneath once they are perfectly fine and we're going to tighten this so it's pretty tight and now we're going to put the negatives same thing loosen it and we're going to place this one so you're going to make sure that it fits we're going to slide it and the second one the same thing and we're going to tighten get a wrench and tighten that's perfect let's tighten so we're going to place the cover back now the cable harness we're going to use the tie up and we're going to do the nice dressing. I'm going to close the hood and we're going to work on the bar. What I've done so far, uh, as I've shown you the wiring, I just temporarily put it in. So, wiring is installed. What I can do, put this one inside and I can remove. I can move the packaging. Now we don't need it. Take and the loading. Put it back on this bracket. And we're going to tighten it. So if you look at the wiring, what I have done, wiring came underneath the bracket. I bring it all the way back and the wiring comes right here. And now we're going to adjust it the way we want it. We're going to tighten with the allen wrenches provided with the kit. Nicely tighten. I'm going to go on the other side. I'm going to screw it. So we're going to make sure that it's nicely tight. One thing is uh, really important that it uses spring washer. And uh, this one is really securely tight. It's not going to go nowhere. One more time. Final touch, perfect. This looks solid, even you can hang on it. After securing the bracket, this one looks really solid and it's looking really nice. The on off switch, that's the testing time. Before we do that, let me show you. The on off switch, this one has a double sided tape. It's a sticky tape. So remove and we're going to securely place it and that's it and now I'm going to test it and I'll show you how the LED looks. We're going to turn it on and you see the light. This is a nice LED and it looks so beautiful and we can turn it. This is the daylight. So this is the way is ox beam LED bar looks like. So this is a really easy to install it. If you like the ox beam lights, please give me like, share, and subscribe Easy Steps. Thank you.